All right, we're back with part two. My phone rang and everything went, everything went straight south. Everything went straight south. So I'm making a two part series. It was daytime, now it's nighttime. Uh, where I ended off was, I was saying I had the, the flak jacket out and I, and I was gonna say, uh, if someone shoots you without rule of law, so the chances are someone's just gonna shoot you in the back. I mean seriously, major flooding, hurricanes, and who knows whatever else. The planet is, uh, who, who knows, but there's no, it's chaos in the streets, Mad Max. You know, if you're out there with a plate carrier with magazines, that means you're out there with your with your AR-15, your AK-47, your your SKS, whatever the heck you got, and people are going to see that. What you know, you think they're going to go in front of you and and uh, try and get in front of you where where you can see them in your field of vision and try and shoot you? No, man, they're going to shoot you right in the back. That's what's going to happen. I mean, just food for thought. So, in, in my opinion, and then also the, the whole plate carrier things, if that did happen, it was without rule of law, and everybody's out in the streets, I mean, if it was that dangerous out in the street, why would you be out in the street? You know, you'd be inside uh, pr protecting your home. You won't be sitting out there. I mean, that's just foolish. I mean, when you see somebody, you know, out there with an AK-47, most people in that situation are not going to have the, that, those types of weapons. Guess what? They're going to want them. People on the other block, people, you know, they've migrated into this area, and maybe all they've got is a pistol. They see you with your AK, they're going, you know, they're going to shoot you in the head. They're going to do whatever they can do, especially in an urban environment where they can get close to you. There's apartment buildings and everything. Then they're going to get that AK. What do you want to bet? You ain't going to be standing out there with that. Because if you are, you're either going to end up in a shootout, you, you could possibly scare a lot of people away. It would, that would, definitely I could see that happening. And then also, with them plate carriers, if you got an 8-pound plate in the front and an 8-pound plate in the back, all your gear, you're going to wear that, seriously, and I'm not joking around, I honestly believe that you're going to wear those plates for maybe a day or two. And guess what's going to happen? You're going to ditch the plates. And if it's some serious situation where it's going to be an ongoing thing, you know, like a Mad Max thing, a couple countries have been nuked, I don't even know. Whatever crazy scenarios people have on their head as to why they're going to buy body armor or why they're interested in this stuff, which I openly admit that I am, that I am, but I'm also being realistic. If you study, look at, look at the guys fighting in Afghanistan. I've seen pictures of these guys, their rifles, they don't even have muzzle brakes on their rifles. They got everything stripped down to nothing. As lightweight as possible, as basic, as simple as possible. You know what, because they've probably seen it all. They've probably gone up, walked up on soldiers, gotten rifles and stuff, and you know, gotten all everything off of them, and the guy's got a bullet in his head. And he's laying there with his, uh, with his plate carrier on. Now, what's the first thing that comes to mind? The first thing that comes to mind, if you were to see something like that, is if he didn't have the heavy plates, maybe he wouldn't have been moving so slow, and maybe they wouldn't have been able to hit him. Are there situations where someone's got hit in a plate carrier? I'm sure that there is. But again, that's a little bit different situation. You're talking about us walking around, uh, invading other countries and wearing plate carriers or riding in a vehicle in a dangerous country that you really shouldn't have been in to begin with, that's a whole other topic. Um, maybe we should be, or, you know, either way, whether you should be there or you shouldn't, it's a different situation. Defending your home, <clears throat> defending where you live, defending your property, you know, like I said, if you're out there running around trying to be Mr., uh, like you're going to be Rambo, fight a whole group of people, a mob of people, and everybody's going to die but you. You know, you're, you're not thinking straight. You know, if somebody opens up on you with, with, 
with an AK-47 with a scar. Who knows what type of guns people are going to have coming out here. Okay, shotgun. Well, you think they're just going to hit you in this little tiny plate, man? This little tiny, this little tiny, uh, this little tiny area? They're just going to hit you right here? No. They're going to be hitting maybe around here. They're going to blow your shoulder off. You're not going to have an arm shoot you in the leg. Like I said, you're going to fall even if you're not dead. The vital organs, they're going to keep, you're going to keep getting shot. They're going to hit you in the head. You're going to get hit in the side. I mean, you're going to die. You're going to die. You know, plate carrier is, I'm just saying fool for thought. There's nothing wrong, like I said, nothing wrong with protecting yourself and thinking like this. If you're thinking plate carriers and, and ammunition and guns and, and all this, that's way better than these people who who are not prepared. So don't get me wrong. I'm just saying food for thought. You know, this is a video is more for people that are kind of on the fence about, you know, maybe they've looked at plate carriers. I've watched videos on it and I kind of came away kind of cringing. Like, here's another one. I don't have anything against people who are overweight, but like, I've seen videos of dudes like, they're, they're three foot wide and they got this little plate carrier here. I mean, you can get shot right in the stomach, right everywhere else. I mean, it's almost like if you had to hit the plate carrier, it'd be difficult. Like, I mean, it looks that small on them. I'm like, are you serious with this, dude? And then not to mention, like, the sides of them now, because say, say this is the side of them. Here's the front of the plate carrier. Here's the back. The plate carrier has now been opened up like this big, like, you know, chances are someone opens up on you, it's going to be from the side, depending on where you're at. But in, like, my type of environment, where there's people walking down the street, you know, fire is going to come from houses and things. And, you know, now the side of them, they're so big, they're, they're these people weigh 300 pounds, as if they're just going to be walking down the street because they're in good enough shape carrying all this extra weight, right? But now the whole side of them is opened up. It's like a, they're like three foot wide, these people, like three foot you know, wide from the side, you know, and then they sell these side plate carriers, it's like this little six inch plate, you know, six inches. I'm like, dude, the thing is just, it's, it's stupid. It's stupid. I mean, even this thing from the side, there's so much more, here's like the, maybe the size of those little plates, and then all this is open, all up in here. This kind of mo moves with your body. There's so much more areas covered. And you didn't spend a million dollars on it. And in fact, for me, it was free because I just had it laying around. I just bought it just for buying it, you know, because I thought it was cool when I bought it. I've had it for so long. That leads me to this. If you want a plate carrier project that makes more sense, why not? In fact, they even sell these. I'm not saying go buy one, but it makes more sense. Plate carrier backpacks. If you want to order some of this tactical gear, I recommend ordering a plate carrier backpack. This is not a specific plate carrier backpack, but it could be. I just picked this up this weekend. Uh, I was in, a, in, a, in an army surplus and I was handling this firsthand and I really like the quality of it. It's a Rothko pack. It's a made in China one, but um, if there was a made in USA one, it was more expensive, I would have bought it. Like, this was the only one that really kind of fit my needs. I'm kind of reluctant to order stuff like this online because I don't know exactly what it's going to look like, the quality and the size. A lot of backpacks that are similar to this are very, very large. This one's bigger than it looks. It opens up pretty wide. I got it all tucked in. I got all the straps neatly tucked in here, but... To make a long story short, I paid 65 bucks for this. I threw a, a little patch on there just, just uh, that I had laying around. I mean, seriously, some of these bags have like nothing but molly webbing. And you could mount, you could mount magazines, you know, you could mount magazines here. You could you could carry so much stuff in the bag. In fact, I may mount a rifle mag, I mean a mag pouch on the side here, and one here, a single mag pouch. And it won't necessarily look like a mag pouch, because they're the ones with the flaps. 
Obviously, when I go out, I won't have a magazine in there, but I bet you you could practice reloads, mag reloads, in your house with your backpack. And the reason I say that's more practical is because if, if this doomsday never comes, you've now purchased something with your money that you can enjoy and you can use on a daily basis. I mean, what are these guys doing with these plate carriers? They've got them laying in their closet, you know, and it's just sitting there. I mean, are you even getting any enjoyment out of the thing? And then also, if something were to happen, you were going to use that, you're not accustomed to wearing it. Whereas you wear your backpack day in and day out. You're, you're familiar with the zippers. You're familiar with how to get in it everywhere. You know, if you need to take off a hooded sweatshirt, you can put it in your backpack. Where are you going to put all that with the plate carrier? I mean, how much weight are you going to be able to carry? But if you do want to carry some weight, do the plate carrier thing. Why not do it in a backpack, something that you can use? Now look, I walk everywhere. I ride a bicycle everywhere. You know, you could use this on a motorcycle. This is something that I can use and I'm going to use. I've gone through a number of backpacks. I've had some really expensive ones and I've had some cheap ones. I've had all kinds. This one is, is a Rothko and, and I really was impressed with it and that's why I bought it. But it's, let me show you what it's got in here. It's got basically this whole, I'm pretty sure this is for a water hydration system. But this whole thing opens up from, it's about eight and a quarter by, it's pretty deep. There's Velcro starts here by, by, uh, by 14, eight and a quarter by 14. That's bigger than a lot of plates. I mean, guys, if you wanted, and look at it's these straps, you can tighten these down here. That could totally hold a plate. That could totally hold a 10 pound plate. Most of those plates, they're rated at like 8 pounds, but they're not, uh, I think they're ceramic ones that are like 6.5 pounds, but they're not even as big as this. And this gets back to, well, I, I mean, something like this in your backpack, to me, makes more sense because you're concealed. Someone's going to go and shoot you in the back or something. Uh, it's not obvious you're wearing body armor. I mean, nobody in a situation like that, especially when people are out there with rifles with scopes and, 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 and good sights and all this, you know, we're not talking about a police officer, somebody who's desperately going to try and get away from a cop. So they're just going to boom, you know what I mean? Start firing away and it's probably going to be with a handgun. We're talking about a different type of situation. You, you could have your body armor, your steel plates more concealed in a backpack. You know, even if you go and buy a specific from one of those companies. But I'm saying you don't even have to do that. You could just find some. You could turn it into a project. If you're just interested in it and looking for something to do, you think it's cool. Um, man, you could even, if, if, if I come across a steel plate, like a half inch thick steel plate, I'll, I'll cut it out with an angle iron. Round it, round it off. I'll, I'll sp make one per that's a perfect fit for this bag. Maybe I'll wrap it in, uh, you know, like uh, duct tape or something and slide it in there. You know, I'll do it just for fun. I guarantee it's going to weigh more than eight pounds. And if you weren't worried about it stopping around, heck, you could take it out, shoot, shoot the plate with your rifle. You know, half inch steel, it's going to stop it. Probably put a big mark in it. You know, but you, you could do this stuff for free. And, you know, like I said, if you ever want to ditch the plate, you could take the plate and throw it on the ground. I'm pretty sure most of those people, if it's an ongoing thing, they're going to ditch the plates anyway. You're not going to be out there with all that. But if you wanted to do it, you know, you could really, if you kind of want to pimp out your... Your, uh, your your plate carrier, you know, get a backpack, dude, and, and you can actually walk, You can that's another thing, you can walk in public with a backpack, with a plate in the in the bag. You could have, if you get the, the mag, I mean, you could put mag pouches, there's nothing illegal about that. Take the mags out and walk around with the pouches. I think that'd be cool. You could make it as military looking as you want. 
I like this digital cam. It's it's like not as uh, not as obvious, you know. Uh, it doesn't jump out you as 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 obvious of what it is, but uh, if you look at it close, it, you know it looks looks pretty tactical. I don't really. It's really not Molly. There's a little bit here, but there's a lot of attachment points you could put stuff on here, and you could have fun with it. You could put patches, and uh, I think that makes much more sense to do a project like this and. And practice with this. Yeah, the front of your body is not covered, but hey, that's something you could address too if you're really into the plate carrier thing. That's something. Be creative. Come up with something. You know. Um, anyway, guys, that's just my thoughts on it. But some of this stuff I have seen on YouTube, I was just like, "No, are you serious with this, dude?" I'm like, "Are these people for real?" And these guys are acting like they're professionals. They're gonna teach people and. They've got their plate carrier on. It's like, dude, give me a break. Man, I've, I've hauled a lot of weight on my bicycle. I go get groceries. I put a gallon of milk in my backpack, and I put a lot, half a gallon, a lot of times a half a gallon with a bunch of other stuff. And, you know, riding down the street with that, with a, with a bag with like 15 pounds of groceries in it, you know, on my bicycle. And, you know, that's just, just a brief ride, just going a few miles, you know, sometimes. And, you know, to, the thought of that you're going to be walking, walk moving around with them steel plates is, uh, it's, it's just strictly fantasy. And they say it covers vital organs. That is, that is just BS. It does not cover your vital organs. Like I said, with the big dude with the, the plate carrier from the side, what about the whole side? They could hit you in the shoulder, go right in your vital organs. I mean, you know, you could be laying down, you could get shot from, you could get shot from behind and the round goes up your butt into your vital organs. You know, what about your neck? What, you know, you get shot in the neck, okay. Well, you get, you get shot in the, in the face. You get shot in the skull. That's not a vital organ, your brain, you're gonna be dead. So, don't believe all the high, oh, box your vital, your, your vital organs so you can defend your family and all this. I'm like, man, give me a break with that. You know, and like I said, it could be something to play around with. I may make a plate and put it in here. You know, heck, you could mount you could mount a mag pouch up here. Maybe I will, because this whole thing, this whole thing buckles. It's got this is here. Oh, it's another thing. There's a drag handle here, just so they can drag your body off to the morgue. There ain't even gonna be a morgue. In that type of situation, you're just going to be dead. I'll see you guys later.